guys, this is Captain Noob here with a two-shot telekinetic flamer. Now this weapon was sort of requested by a commenter, but I've had to make a few amendments to the request because, obviously, uh, we don't have the proper mod on PC. So if you can't tell already, this weapon is going to be firing Lorenzo's artifact rounds, I suppose, or projectiles would be a more fitting term. And it's going to be firing two per shot, and it's pretty deadly to use at close range. As you saw, I just nixed about half of my health trying to shoot at a gunner that was too close to me. But what's fun about this is when you kill an enemy, they ragdoll everywhere, so we're going to have a lot of flying gunners in this run, hopefully. So we'll go ahead and take out these turrets. Uh, we'll just uh, go on a little bit of a clean-up. Don't even know why we're crouching. We definitely don't need it. And as they come around, we'll just announce our presence over here. That guy's dead. Before that one gets around the corner, we'll see if we can get them. Got some sort of hit marker. Ooh, we'll miss that one. I'll we'll just move on to this melee gunner, then we'll fight a, try to mop up the rest. And that's what happens when you kill yourself with this. Right, let's be a little more cautious this time. We'll bust out our flame here, we'll take out these little ones in the room, and we'll gun them down from up here, I think. That would be a much better use of the range of the weapon, and it'll make us feel a little bit safer as we're firing from up there. You're a good distance away from that gunner, take the shot there, and we'll go ahead and kill that gunner, we'll move on. We've uh, finished that so effectively that we're back in the hidden, meaning these gunners won't even know what hit them. Not this bloke, who's always on his computer, doing god knows what. Okay, here we are, down in the main room. We'll just take out these turrets first. Make sure we don't get our aim obstructed by those things, because they launch at you, and it's a physics object, and it will kill you. Alrighty, third time's a charm. We can do it this time. Let's see if we can jump through this little bit. Nope. We go around, again. Alrighty, we'll take out these gunners up here. Got hit by an incendiary laser. So that's pretty na uh, nasty. Alright, just how many more down here? Just that one. Bloody hell. These gunners will get their comeuppance yet. I swear this to you. Alright. Kill these gunners. And then the turrets. Yes. And then maybe shoot over there. Over there. Yes, that works. I think that's the lot from down below, so we can move on to this private now. And we managed to hit ourselves there, but we're not dead. We can still keep going. Back into hidden, we can regenerate a tiny little bit of health as we're running to our next target. Yeah, where is he this time? He decided to lean. Too bad for him, we're wise to his tricks now. All these physics objects have been thrown around by the telekinesis blast, so we'll fire a little bit more cautiously this time, make sure. And right as I say that, I shoot a paint frame that's right in front of me, doing heaps of damage to myself. But now we're in nerd rage, we should be fine. That uh, gunner with the missile launch, it was scary on such low health. But it looks like we're almost through them now. Take out this melee gunner, hopefully we don't kill ourselves in the process. Yes, awesome. That'll do. And on to the last bunch. We'll get him this time. Up on the wall here. Managed to take out all the ones below with that shot too, so that was nice. And down goes that gunner. How many have we got left? Just these turrets. One over there, we'll take it out. And what is left? Did I end up killing this turret before? Yes, I did. So there you have it. While it's an extremely powerful weapon for mobbing, uh, be careful in close quarters because you can kill yourself very easily with it. Let's go find Swan and uh, send him into space with this. Okay, here's Swan. Let's shoot him and get this over with nice and quickly. No need to uh, care about our accuracy here. So we just hip fire him to death. And the infinite stagger of the massive telekinetic projectiles will keep him staggered until death. There he goes. And you can actually see a little bit of the flamer's impact effect on him with the flames that spread it off him. And we get our idiot savant to help us out with a little bonus in XP2. Let's see if we can actually push his massive body with this telekinesis ray type thing. 
You know what? I'm kind of disappointed, but we did move him a little bit. That's it for Swan. We'll move on to something else now. Let's see, maybe a Deathclaw. Alright, let's see if we can turbo stagger this massive Deathclaw into submission, just like we did with Swan. This time we'll go ahead and use uh, Vats and... Hang on, I think something's sneaking up on me. Excuse me, Rad Scorpion. I'm trying to kill some Deathclaws here. <laughs> off he goes. You too, you can bugger off. Yeah, I think it'll be gone for a while. I'll use this time to take out this giant Deathclaw over here. So let's test the AP usage. It's not actually that bad. We'll just crit him a few times for starters. If it's anything like the de uh, the Gatling laser, it'll fire 10 shots per Vats burst, which would be utterly devastating. We should be alright just to keep uh, them in regular shots now because, yeah, concentrated fire has definitely helped us out here. And that's a lot of Vats uh, hits on him. So he's running at us now and just like Swan, this thing perpetually staggers him, so it would be a very easy kill. That's one of the hardest death claws you have to fight in this mod, and we've just taken him out, taken him out very, very easily. Now I guess we'll finish off this Rad Scorpion too. Hmm. Your mate seems to be flying high. Let's see if you can do that. Oh, disappointing! Disappointing. Yeah, you can go over there now. Goodbye. Alrighty, so that was the big bad mythic ethereal deathclaw or ethereal mythic deathclaw I should say look at the claws on this bug, he'd slice through a bus with that kind of clawage anyway we'll go ahead and find another monster to kill this time it won't be as terrifying as a mole rat now I'm gonna ask you a question what does this video and the Australian summer have in common stay tuned and you'll see so we'll bring out our little flame here we'll uh, top up the mag and you shall see what's the difference the, the, or the similarities and the similarities are flies lots and lots of flies so many flies too many flies get the arrow guard get the more team get your telekinetic two shot flamer type thing anything to clear out these critters from your premises now we'll go into Vats here just to get a, sh a few shots, a few precision shots on the bloat flies. It'll do a pretty good amount of damage on them. Although we don't want to stick around to get uh, maggoted by these things because their maggots are somehow harder hitting than a gorse rifle, which means they are turbo maggots. They are super deadly maggots that will probably turn into putrid bloat flies when they grow. Now they're also, the trouble about these buggers is they're quick too, so simply outrunning them is easier said than done, but they've got the aim of a stormtrooper, so luckily for us we can turn around and retaliate once we get a little bit of distance on them. Looks like this is the last one left, and while that cool explosion goes off, we'll just target this dude's face for maximum effect. If you could hit them, that would be nice. There we go getting that good damage in now and as his guts fly away and the rest of the projectiles strike the sand I think that is about it for the two-shot telekinetic flamer so if you like this video and like to use a weapon just like it be sure to head down to the description below to my mod and if you want to apply this effect on uh, mod weapons I've actually made a separate ESP or mod that will actually allow you to attach it onto mod weapons. So if you've got a SCAR-H, if you use Modern Weapons mod or anything like that, yeah, you can go ahead and attach my legendary effects to that now, which is pretty neat. Thank you for watching, guys.